We'll bring the news later. Now we're on the start for the junior women's quads. This is the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup held by Clare's Court School. And we've got Molsey Boat Club, the distinctive black and white on the far side. And we've got so William Borley's school uh, closest to the camera with the blue oars and the red shirts. And away they go. And two really nice examples of junior women's quad sculling here. High pace, high rate. It looks as though Molsey and that Empacker hull are just a little bit more lively getting those oars into the water. Very simple and driving a nice straight line. So William Borlase, I think a little bit edgy, just looks as though that hull is moving around a little bit more in the popple, but we'll see what happens as they transition out of that start phase into that higher race yeah, pace. I mean, I think this is very aggressive start there from William Borlase uh, Grammar School and uh, Girls School, sorry. They are really going for it, trying to take the race uh, to Molsey. And it's the right approach. So quad sculling as we know that high boat pace it's very difficult to add speed and so we want to try and make sure that our race pace particularly at Henley Regatta is it as as high as it possibly can be for as long as it possibly can be in a bit of a drag race so they were neck and neck and as we join the race live it looks like so William Borlase has got the edge over Molsey. I thought it might be the other way around, actually, but that powerful start they've managed to maintain, and we're now coming into the enclosures, maybe 600 metres still to run, and it looks like William Borlase are sitting in a leading position. Now's the time for Molsey. Yeah, now is the time for Molsey, and now is also the time for Borlase to sit calmly. They've put themselves in a really good spot. It's not about giving that lead away. You can just see that hull move slightly with a dip of the oar. We want to make sure that there's absolute simplicity and they keep their composure as they come through to what I would normally call the business end of the race, that last four, 500 metres where they need to execute and get that hull across the line first. So this event really does produce incredible racing all the way through the regatta. We've seen that year after year after year. There's Molsey, Katie Wright in the bow seat. She just glances across to see where they are on the competition. She'll be giving a call to the rest of the crew. Their heads are beautifully straight in the boat. She glances across again. That suggests to me that they might be moving. You can hear the crowd's tone rising. It's Molsey, it's the William Borlase school. It's going to go towards the line. And it looks like Molsey have just increased that pace. You can just see the hands moving around the back a little bit freer. You can maybe feel the energy of the crowd transcending into that hole. They've just taken the rate up and the pace up. This is going to be an exciting closing stage. It's anything to play for. They've just got to get as many strokes as they possibly can. It looks like William Borlase are going for it. Will Molsey have a response? Can they do it? They've got about 10 strokes, maybe 15 15 strokes to go. Olivia Chisma at bow of Molsey looks across again. She calls once more to the girls in front of her, Eva Briodi, Emily, Emily Davis and Lydia Truitt. But it's my goodness. So William Borlase came through and held on to that advantage as they crossed the line. You can see what it took out of them, Cam. Absolute exhaustion. What a race. Well, I thought Molsey were attacking all the way there, but Claire, uh, but Borley, sorry, um, really held them off and held them off and held them off. You can see how exhausted they were by by that race.